Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to transfer your instances from either PolyMC or MultiMC to the Prism launcher. Now this tutorial is only for people who have already set up either MultiMC or PolyMC before as uh, I will not be going through how to set up any of the dependencies like Java for different Minecraft versions and stuff like that. That will all be in a dedicated video on how to set up Prism from scratch. That will be linked in the description if you need it. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to either multi or poly MC and open it and then go to the folders button at the top and then view instance folder. This will bring you to a folder like this, which will have all of your instances in them. But we want to copy the icons as well, otherwise they won't display properly. So we want to go up one directory, either by pressing the up key or the go into the uh, root directory of the application, which in this case is polyMC. And then we want the instances folder and the icons folder. And we'll need to, we'll need those for later. Now, the next thing we want to do is download the Prism launcher. So go to the link in the description. At the moment, it will take you to the GitHub page but this is a little bit more difficult to navigate. So if they do end up having a download button on their website in the future, I will direct the link to there instead. But in this instance, it will be their GitHub. So the first thing we'll need to do is scroll down to where they will have all of the files. Now I want the installer version. So I wanna click show all assets. And at the bottom here will be the installer. The current latest version is 5.0. I want the Windows setup. Now, if you are using another operating system, you can choose your OS from here. But if you are a Windows user and don't want to install it, you can use a, a portable version here and just extract that to wherever you want to store it. But I'm gonna be using the installer. So click the download. Now for the installer or an exe which it doesn't recognize it will come up saying this file isn't commonly downloaded are you sure you want to trust this this is normal as as you can tell it's not a very commonly downloaded thing as it was only just released three hours ago um, so in this instance you want to click the three dots and then click keep on edge it will come up with another prompt as it can't verify that it's safe i want to click the down arrow and then click keep anyway. Now that will download the file. Once it's finished downloading, you just run the executable and it will go through the uh, normal setup. So click next. I want a desktop icon as well. Next, I'd leave the um, install direction, uh, install location on where it is. You can always redefine where the instances in that are stored later. And install, and this will install the launcher. Now, once it's finished, it will um, auto tick the box to run it. That's fine, because we want to do that. And click run. It will generate all of the needed directories and stuff. And then in my case, I want to use British English to set up. And then for me, I'm going to use Java version eight, as that will allow me to use older packs, as I tend to use more uh, older packs anyway. Uh, than newer Minecraft instances. And, that, and you can always just define the Java version directly in the instance, so that's not a problem. Now, I want the default RAM allocation to be eight gigs. Now, one gig is 1024, and then I want eight, so times that by eight. So that's 8,192. Now, that seems to be the sweet spot in most instances, but you can always set more or less if you need, uh, but it's recommended against using more than half of your RAM allocation. So if you have eight gigs of RAM, four, maybe it's a good bit. Maybe you can squeeze up to six, but that will limit the or other things you can do in the background as it will have to use more swap space. But that's up to you. Once you click finish, it will go to this page. Now, we haven't set up anything else, but we want to transfer our instances first. So close. Uh, don't close the launcher like I did. Um, so I, you need to go to the folders button and then view instance folder for Prism. And that will open up a directory like 
this. It'll be empty because we haven't installed anything. So we want to go up one to Prism, and we have it here. So we've got the icons, which is empty, and instances, which is also empty because there are none. So the first thing we want to do is go back to PolyMC and drag the icons and instances folders to the Prism folder like this. This will move all of them across. As you can see, I have PolyMC still open, and you can see it's all of them are gone from there. So if I close that, you can see they're here. And if I open up Prism again, they should show up. So here's all my instances. So now I'm going to sign into my account. So click here, accounts, add a Microsoft account, copy the link, paste it in here, and then use my finger to sign in. Yes, uh, I allow this application to do things. There you go. And close that. You can see it's fetched all my stuff. And there it is. And as an example, I just got a message to let me know that the uh, a new sign in has occurred on my Microsoft account. And I'm going to launch the latest packs. Uh, so this will be a vanilla pack for me. So it will download all necessary assets. Can take a little bit of time for a first launch. Once you've done this on a version of Minecraft, it won't have to do it again. So at least it's that. There you go. So the pack is now loaded and I can play as normal. Now you've done that. If you have any other settings inside of Prism that you want to change, just like you had in the old one. So for example, I like the interface to be last launched first, the icons to be the legacy versions and the dark mode to be the, the colors to be dark like that. And then other things like I like different things like different screen resolutions by default and other things like that. You can go through and change them here. If you need assistance or have any questions, you can always ask in the comments below as well as in my Discord and the official Prism Discord, which will also be linked below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell, and have a good one.